Hey, welcome. It's Mary Beth Bella Jacks from Motivational Interviewing for Change. Ask a Trainer. We go live on Mondays giving tips and tricks on how to use motivational interviewing to motivate people. And uh, having some internet problems, so sorry, so had to restart. Um, it's Monday morning and uh, time to get our motivation on, I suppose. Been having a lot of great conversations with people lately, especially people who are in charge of supervising other people about how to motivate people they work with, how to supervise. And a lot of times, I think it's easier for all of us to be really critical, to give, uh, to analyze people and to see what's going not well and where we can fix things, where we can make adjustments. Um, however, what we know about motivation is that things have to be, well, change has to be not only important, but people have to feel like they can actually succeed if they try to change. So criticism, while it can be motivating for a lot of people, I mean, some people say, oh yeah, well, let me prove you wrong, which is great. But sometimes it doesn't do the trick in terms of building your confidence to make change. So what does build confidence to make change is something called an affirmation. We know affirmations, um, they're used a lot to describe what you tell yourself to motivate yourself. Affirmations are also really powerful when you give them to other people. So an affirmation is a statement pointing out a strength, an accomplishment, or value about another person. It's kind of shining a light on what's positive about the other person. And it's not so much my opinion, or it is my opinion, but I really want the other person to see their own strength. So it's not really about me sort of praising somebody, but a good affirmation will really point out someone else's strengths like, despite how challenging this is, you're really trying. Um, so those kinds of things that point out somebody's own strengths and abilities are going to support their confidence in being able to change. So. I guess my tip today and my tip for the week is, is to maybe try to see what's going well with somebody, what they're doing well, and see if that helps give them the confidence and the courage to make difficult changes. Thanks so much, and we'll see you next week.